Hey everyone, it's Ellie. Today I'm starting a new series. Um, it's gonna be focused on like my self-care journey, basically how I am working on overcoming my personal issues, like, you know, not wanting to go to the gym, not eating healthy, that kind of thing. Um, today I'm gonna take you to the gym with me. Um, I am trying to make a habit out of it. It's very hard. <laughs> so basically this whole video series is gonna be about self-care, about getting healthy, getting fit, and basically not just like fitness in the sense of like body and like working out, but also fitness in the self sense of like holistic health, like financial health, emotional health, relational health, um, all the different ways. So this series will hopefully be really helpful for you guys and also is a way for me to keep myself accountable and document my journey. I am good and sweaty. I did 35 minutes on the elliptical. I'm probably gonna post my stats in the video too because I wore my Apple Watch. Um, now I'm gonna head over and go eat. Now that I'm all showered, I'm trying to get in the habit of moisturizing more, especially because winter is coming up and it is getting frigid outside and drying the heck out of my skin. So what I've been using lately is this like three step-ish system from IT Cosmetics. It's first you put on the IT Bye Bye Lines serum because I have like wrinkle lines in my forehead already from stress and my eyes are just really like crinkly over here. I really just think it smells nice and I got it as a gift. So basically all of these things are not things I would necessarily purchase because they're really expensive and I don't necessarily believe that they work any better than like drugstore creams. But anyway, this is what I'm using for now because this is what I have. And then I'm using the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. It's again, anti-aging, which I mean, like I'm 19, but there's a saying that says, you're never too young to start anti-aging. I don't know if I believe that, but it's just, it's just face cream. And then, oh, dropped one. This one is my favorite. I actually would probably purchase this again for something similar. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. It's very cooling and that's what I like about it. And it's also more of like a gelish texture, so it like sinks right in. So I'll put these on, and then for my body, I use one of these. So these are both by C. Booth. Um, they are, I think, made with argan oil. So this one is a body butter. It is Egyptian argan oil body butter. It's thicker, but it still doesn't take ages and ages to sink in, which is why I like it. And it's also pretty cheap. And then this one, which is what I use when I really don't have time to like sit around and wait for the lotion to sink in at all. This sinks in almost immediately. This is the four-in-one body lotion that is coconut fig scented. Okay, now that my skin is all moisturized, let's go on to hair. Um, for hair, I keep it pretty simple. My natural hair is just like straight, thin. Um, I do dye it blonde though. So as you, saw, as you saw in the shower, I use purple shampoo for that. But um, I use a couple things in my hair just to keep it nice and hydrated. First of all, the oil, the oil treatment that I talked about early in the video, I use this black castor oil. Um, I basically let this sink in my hair overnight. It's supposed to help with growth. Um, my goal is not necessarily longer, but I want thicker hair. 
because I have very little hair, <laughs> as you can probably see. So I use this overnight, um, not every night, just whenever I'm feeling a little bit like pampering myself. But what I do use on a regular basis after I shower is marula oil. Now this stuff is kind of expensive, it's like $10 and $11 a bottle, but a little bit goes a long way. Um, I use this in my hair after it's air dried about halfway, so it's like still wet, still damp, but it's not soaking, soaking wet. And as you can see, it's super, super knotty, even though I used conditioner. That's just basically how my hair is, and I don't want to overdo it with the conditioner because then my hair will get greasy after I literally just washed it. So I'll show you what I do. Take maybe like this little bit, and then, oh, it's dripping. Put it on my hands. Sorry, the sink's over there. And then I run my hands through my hair. And I do this a couple times until I feel like um, the knots are out and my hair is nice and hydrated. Um, with any hydrating product, you don't want to put it on your roots because that'll make it greasy like I was saying before. But yeah, I'll do that a couple times. And then I take my favorite hairbrush. This is a wet brush. It's the kind for specifically like fast drying your hair. What I like about it is there's no like material in between so that dust doesn't and like hair particles and like all kinds of gross stuff doesn't accumulate in the brush. After every time that I brush my hair, I can clean it out fully. That's what I like about this. And I know you're not supposed to brush your hair when it's wet because it's more breakable, but um, in my opinion, it's only when it's fully wet and the pores are open. So I haven't had any problems with too much breakage of just brushing it when it's damp. Don't brush it when it's fully wet. So that's what I do to my hair. Um, this is my like regular basis stuff, my regular self-care. Um, I'll probably do another video on like pamper routine, but this is what I do. Thank you.